Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a look in on the sign of Taurus. Now keep in mind, these are general readings, like I always say, you know, if they resonate with you, that's great. And if they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings either over the phone or in a private video sent to you by email. Uh, I do readings either in half hour or hour increments. Nothing in between, please. Um, also, Life Path readings is still available, as well as my mystery healing boxes that I customize. So if there's a particular color or theme that you would like, I can do that for you. Gift certificates are now available uh, for the holidays, as well as birthdays, or just gift a friend a reading. They make great gifts. Uh, you want to learn tarot? I also have tarot card classes. Still available, the five videos plus a bonus video, and they're $20 a piece. Okay, Taurus, let's see what's shaking with you this far to the end of November. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Hmm. Taurus, I think you're keeping to yourself. Whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're creating, it's probably a good thing. But a lot of people, I think, want to know what you're up to. Hmm. Let's get into this. Bottom of the deck. Hmm. My bulls, you have the Nine of Cups. Now, here's a wish being granted. Nine's being close to a ten. The ten, you know, by that unicorn card. This is something that is emotionally satisfying. Something you've been wishing for. And Taurus, I do believe that, you know, you are making your dreams, your wishes come true. But people are seeing it. So, Taurus, let's get it. We're going to start off with a very powerful card, the Magician. Number one in the Major Arcana. Here's the Alchemist. He makes anything happen for himself. He's got all the tools to do it. One step better, you know, relationship. And remember, this could be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. And this could be the energy that's um, coming towards you or... My bulls, you're putting out there. But this is creating, manifesting. This is not, you know, laying back on the couch and taking it easy. It's putting things into effect. And what's crossing the help or hinder, Taurus, you have the four of pentacles. Now, some people might say it's the miser card. But this person's holding back. They're not speaking their opinion or what's on their mind. This could be staying silent and just observing what's going on around them. But Taurus, I do believe that, you know, you're not letting all your secrets out. You're keeping it to yourself. That way there's no interference with what you're trying to achieve here. Because in your foundation, you have another major. You have the emperor. And this could be depicted as an Aries or a Taurus. You know, this is usually an authoritative-like person. Could be a father-like person. He's been there. He's done that. He can show you a few things. This is about being, you know, in control. He makes the rules. And this in your foundation here, my bulls, you're in the driver's seat. You're in control. You manifest the things that you desire, that you want. And if you keep it to yourself, that might be part of the, you know, control. It keeps other people maybe not getting involved, not adding their two cents. Because, I mean, whatever you're creating here, my bulls, maybe you're doing it on your own. 
Other people don't need to know. They'll find out soon enough. Now what's crowning your whole reading here, my bulls, is that you have the Seven of Cups. Now here's option, options. Get that out. Here's choices. And everything in each cup looks pretty good, my bulls. Which one do you take? Take the one you want? Take the one you need? Or do you take your time and take all of them? Taurus, I think that whatever you're working on, you know, that you've been very diligent, you know, keeping yourself in control, keeping, you know, the eyes on the prize, so to speak, that it is opening up, you know, options, choices for you. And maybe you didn't see them before. And yes, that could be a wish coming true. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice under this, you have the Ace of Swords here. Here's victory. You know, cutting off the things that no longer serve you. Clarity, epiphany, aha moment here. Standing in your truth. Taurus, I do believe that you're very headstrong about what you're creating to succeed. And even if that's just, you know, making you the best you you could be, nobody needs to know. Because in your recent past, Taurus, you have the Six of Swords. This is moving away to Kama Waters, leaving a situation behind and going to a better one. And that being in your recent past, you know, something just wasn't working. And again, any ship, friendship, partnership, love ship, and you had to leave it. Maybe you had to get your independence back. You know, maybe you had to you know, express your creativity without the outside influences. You could be going on your own. But whatever it is, I feel, Taurus, that it's big. And you're not going to put anything that you've been working on in jeopardy for nothing. You come too far, Taurus. You've worked too hard. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor, I believe. You're not going to stop now. Now, going into your future, you have the King of Cups. Now, here's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who's got their emotions even keel. You know, they're not coming unraveled. They're not turning into a puddle. And they're very intuitive. Now, this could be somebody that you're friends with or involved with it even could be your energies that you know everything's good there's no worries you could be trusting your intuition more and keeping yourself even keel and in control mastery of the emotions is just what i heard you know the things that might have bothered you before i can bother you now you've come too far like I said, if someone's, you know, trying to get a rise out of you, it won't happen. Because Taurus, you're in control. More so now than ever before. You're maneuvering. You're making things happen. And maybe on the outside, you're staying calm, cool, and collect. Awesome. Now, how people see you in this situation, <laughs> you're major arcana. Look at you. Look at the sun. Most positive card in the whole deck. The Leo card. This is just positivity at its finest. People are seeing you like this, Taurus. That the glass is half full, not half empty. That your outlook on everything, life, business, career, friendships, partnerships, all in the up and up. <laughs> I just heard that song, Walking on Sunshine. Now that raises an eyebrow. To a lot of people, I think. Because in your environment, Taurus, you have the Knight of Wands. 
also known as a good time Charlie card. This comes from the court of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but more so just a messenger. A messenger to move on something, a message to put something, you know, in motion. Get the ball rolling. And I think that you are getting these messages, you know, to act on something here because you've created these situations where the timing is right. And you are. You're moving. You're just, you're creating. You're manifesting. And you feel good about it. My bulls, you're in control. Whether this is the first time in your life that you feel like you have total control of your whole, of your own life. Or maybe you are an authoritative like person and you call the shots and you just wheeling the wheel and making it work efficiently. And now messages are coming, coming in, Doris. Now in your hopes and in your fears, my bulls, you have the five of wands. Now, this is petty arguments, gossip, secrets, lies, could even be jealousy. Not everybody sees eye to eye. They're not on the same page. That's a fear, my bulls, to engage in some sort of, you know, conflict. But it's petty. It's minor. My bulls, you're in control. This pettiness or even jealousy you better than that. You get a grip on your feels. I believe. And you know what? I don't even think you're going to engage in this. Because you're above that. You get better things to do. And maybe your silence keeps you from engaging with this stuff. This is rumors. This is, you know, naysayers. Kick rocks. You're walking on sunshine here, my bulls. Your outcome card. Very interesting. Doris, you have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. <clears throat> Excuse me. This could be obsessions, addictions, illusions, codependency, feeling bound and tied to a situation that you don't think is ever going to end or change. Could be anything from sex, porn, chocolate, gambling, you name it. The other side of the uh, devil is also about deep passion, deep desire, craving. So my bulls, if you crave success and things are rolling, you put that ball in motion and you're staying positive because you know positive will bring positive to you. This wish could be those deep desires that you crave and you're manifesting them. The things that you truly, deeply want and need, Taurus. And nobody else has to know. So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.